welcome to Repton and the Golden Contract semi-final draw. Today it's all about the featherweights and the super lightweights. Both draws taking place today, one after the other. None of these fighters know yet who they will be facing, but there is an added twist to this draw, and that is the introduction of the Golden Ball, Jamie. What is that, Jamie Ball? Ultimately, the golden ball will decide the fate of everyone in the same thing. Whoever has the golden ball has the choice between everyone else. So it's a, it's an interesting aspect of it. And drama, Andy. Always, always drama in this. I love the draw for the golden ball trap. The, the, the first three we did for the featherweights, super lightweights, and, and our heavyweights, it just, it's such a great dynamic because you don't know whether you're going to pick or whether you're going to be picked. And, and now, particularly with, with this system, where whoever gets that golden ball, then has the pick of the other three. If you've been giving it a lot of big chat previously about how we want to fight this person or that person, and you get that golden ball, then you've got some decisions to make. Well, it's time to find out who will be picking who. Go for it. Thanks very much. So, we've got four fighters, obviously, it's the semi-finals, and in the back then, being held by Jamie Coleman, we have three red balls and one golden ball, as discussed. So, the fighters will come up in alphabetical order, and pick a ball out, if they get the golden ball, they'll move to this side, red balls to that side. And even if the golden ball is picked out first, we'll go through the whole process so everybody can see that what we say is in that bag is indeed in that bag. Uh, so first up, uh, Jazza, Jazza Dickens. Come forward and make your and make your selection. Good win in the quarterfinals against Carlos Ramos. And uh, he picks out a red ball, so Jazza, if you go stand on that side, he's one of the three fighters who will be up for selection, Tyro McCullough. And we get a red ball as well, so 50-50 opportunity for these two now, remaining Ryan Walsh and Lee Wood. So Ryan, step forward if you would, and let's see what you get. Ooh, there it is, there it is, the golden ball. So if you go step on over to that side, and we'll just go through that anyway, Lee. Okay, so, as you say, three red balls. Well, here we have You've got the opportunity. You've probably run through this scenario in your mind a few times over the last few days. Which one of these three is it going to be? Um, our own colour. Interesting. Okay, if you two just step forward to the centre here. So talk us through it. Why him? I, I had a, a few different things to think about. I didn't think I was going to get the goal ball out of the further air. I because I think stylistically we put more against this type of style, so it's a bit of fun time. Well. You're always confident, you're that, you're that kind of character that, that uh, people might think they know what they're getting when they get it with you, but then they're never really going to know until they actually have to do it. No, 100% I'm confident on the ball and I'm glad I got picked so good that I'm going to go to the ball, but I have a great fighter and I'm looking forward to it. Really. Not in respect, but it's going to be a great fight. Okay, interesting. Thanks very much. If you two just kind of sidle back towards either side, if you move that way, Brian and Tyron, you move that way. Uh, Jazz and Lee, uh, we'll do a coin toss afterwards to decide who's on the left hand side of the bill, who's nominally in the, in the home corner. So you two have no have no choice in this matter. What are you what are you thinking? It's a good fight for the sky for TV. Um, both got a lot of experience, it's a good fight on British titles on plenty of the resume, you know, and it's gonna be a great fight. How about you? Yeah, this is what it is, this is the fun of the draw. I mean I am happy with my friend. Okay, well that completes it for the favourites. Gentlemen, I think you just need to make sure you return those balls to, to Jamie Conlon. And uh, then we will get back underway with the